Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to my launch for the October Halloween challenge. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Repeating Circles. It's just a single die so they're nice and even. And then I just pulled three Halloween sets from my stash. I'm just gonna use one or two stamps from each one of these sets. I rarely make black cards, but since it's Halloween, I thought I would. So I'm gonna die cut my piece of Stampin' Up! black cardstock. It's four by five and a quarter. And you can see it fits nicely right inside my A2 Nina Solar White. And I'm just gonna outline my circle so I have a guideline for my stamping. I'm going to stamp some spiders in the top left and the top right. So I'm just gonna mask off um, the next circle with some uh, post-it paper. And I'm gonna use one of the spiders does not have a web, one does. So I'm just gonna flip the one that does have the web upside down so that I could create a web for the other two spiders. And I'm gonna put one big one and two small ones on this side. I really wanted my spiders to stand out. So I'm gonna sprinkle them with some black sparkle embossing powder. It's glitter and black powder combined by Ranger. And since I used VersaFine ink, which is a pigment ink, it'll stay wet long enough for me to cover it with some embossing powder. So it's really sparkly. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but it's really cute. For three of these next circles, I'm gonna stamp it with candy corn. And since I'm coloring them with Copic markers, I'm gonna stamp it with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm gonna start in the center and work my way out because I think that's the easiest way to get them all kind of crowded in there without any big gaps uh, in the middle of the circle. So I'm just gonna move this around in different directions until I get the whole thing covered. And then I'm gonna move my uh, tape, my post-it tape here to the other side and work on these other two circles until they're finished. And then I'll put my sentiment in the lower middle circle. I'm gonna stamp that with VersaFine Black Onyx ink and I'm gonna use my Misty. And now I'm ready to color. So I'm just gonna color these very simply. I'm using YR04 and Y15, and then I'm leaving the uh, top portion white. Now I realized that after I started coloring this that I really needed to erase my pencil lines because uh, if you put Copic marker over pencil lines, they will not erase. So I went ahead and erased all my circles because I really didn't need them anymore. And now I'm coloring my second layer of the candy corn with the Y15. And then again, I'm just gonna leave the uh, top portion blank. So I'm not gonna color that at all. So I finished all of my candy corn and then I wanted to add a little sparkly to this. So I'm using a wink of Stella clear pen. And this also helps me to define that top white portion as part of the candy corn and not the background. I'm gonna add some scotch foam tape to the back of my black panel. And I put a couple of pieces in the middle so that it wouldn't sag in the middle. And then I'm just gonna center this over my uh, colored panel. I'll put some ATG tape runner on the back of this panel and adhere it to a Nina Solar White A2 size card. And that is the card for today. So a pretty quick and simple card um, and it's fun with the candy corn and the spider. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.